I have a collective haul to do for you today. I haven't done a haul in a while, I don't think. So it's overdue, and I actually went to the outlet mall this past week, so that's where everything is from, minus one item, but I'll get to that. So I went there to get a dress for formal, which is coming up March 16th, pretty soon. And I went to Saks Off Fifth because they always have a ton of dresses. And then we also have a BCBD outlet. So I went there because that's where I got my formal dress from last year, which I'll show you a picture of because I absolutely loved it. They had like two of those still in the store, which I thought was odd because it's been over a year and... I don't know. I, I love it. If you're looking for a nice dress, like it just fits so well and it's just so pretty. I love looking at it. But my dress this year I bought from Saks Off Fifth and it's so gorgeous too. So I'm excited to show you guys that. But I'm not going to show it to you in this video because I'm going to be doing an actual like get ready with me type video, which is going to be cool because I've never done one of those before. But I'll go ahead and show you everything else I got. So whenever I go to Saks Off Fifth, I always have to get a Wild Fox sweater because they're only like 30 something dollars there compared to the original like 108 price tag. So I got one and this is in like a skull, um, just bone type shirt and it has the arm bones too. I just thought that was kind of cool because I know bones and skulls are really in. And I've always wanted a shirt that had like my rib cage on it like that. I know that's weird but I have. And it's just the softest material. If you've never felt a Wild Fox Couture sweater before, you need to feel it. It just, it's amazing, I promise. And I love wearing these to school. I got it in a size small because they do run large and they stretch out. I have like five smalls and a couple mediums. And the mediums are just too big. And I'm normally a medium in other like places. So if you do get one and you haven't before, I suggest you size down one size. Chester joined us obviously. Okay, the next thing I got and I've already worn this. I love it and it's just this blouse and it is by Daniel Rain and I got it in a size medium and it just has polka dots on it and I just love the cream color. I wear this to work in school and it came with a tank top underneath like one of the tank tops that's like attached to the shirt but they never look right so I just cut it out of it. It was just attached by like two threads up here and that I will may possibly use it was really thin and kind of short I didn't I just didn't enjoy it at all so I put obviously another tank top under this because it is sheer and let's see how much this one started at okay so it originally was 88 and I got it for well I didn't get it for 59 but they reduced it down to 60 and then I got the 30% off plus an extra 10 and then I got one more shirt from there, other than the dress, and I love this so much. It is so pretty. It's going to be perfect for summer and spring, and it is this blouse right here with mint stripes. And I love the cobalt blue, and the gold buttons are just an added detail. I really love it. And the back just looks like this. So pretty and it's so silky. This feels like um like a charmeuse type of material, although obviously it's not 100% polyester. <laughs> 548. I've never heard of that before. I don't know how you exactly do say it, but we'll call it 548 for now. And this was originally $88, and it was like the same one, um, $60, and then 30% off plus an extra 10. Do you want that? You want it? Okay. I don't go there often because I know I spend a lot of money. I don't have that money to spend, but I didn't get that much, and I feel like those pieces I'm going to wear all the time. So that's how I'm going to justify it in my mind because I just, I absolutely love Those them. shirts both came out to $38 after the discount, so not amazing, but it's not terrible. Especially for designers like those and sacks like I'm gonna expect them to hold up a little bit more than my forever 21 like $12 shirt so I'm gonna use them for work it's not it's definitely worth the $38 and then once I left there I went to BCBG I didn't find a dress sadly I actually found the dress I wore to last formal in like red and black but I was like that's a little too close to what I wore last year honestly I wish I mean, I could wear last year's dress, but I don't want to because, I don't know, it's kind of like going to prom with 
the same dress. I don't know. I couldn't pull myself to do it, but I know I'm going to wear that dress again. So right next to BCBG, though, is the cosmetic company outlet. So obviously I went in there. They also call it the CCO, if you've ever heard anyone say that. It's just the cosmetic company outlet. And I bought some MAC products because I don't buy MAC unless I'm there, pretty much. I got four eyeshadows, and you're going to be like, aren't like, they're all the same color, but they aren't, and they're so pretty, and I'll swatch them for you. Okay, the first one I got is in the color this and that, and it's just a really nice gold and, like, beigey color. So I have this on my eyes today. I'm wearing that as an all-over color and that pretty much all over, too. I'm all about browns and neutrals, so that's why I picked these up, because I'm just obsessed. I really am. Oh, P.S. I did the St. Tropez tan, and I'm going to do a review on it, but I did get one spot where it looks like a fake tan, pretty much, because it patched up right on my hand. It was the only spot that did it, too. It was my fault, though. Like, it wasn't, will you stop? Stop, 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 stop. I didn't um, do my hands very well at all. Go away. And <laughs> right here, I that's the one spot, and that you're gonna see it so I wanted to clear that up right now that that is a self tanner spot okay so that is the whitish beige color of this this and that that's what it's called an um, eyeshadow so pretty and then I will do the gold part it's right here um, I'm just obsessed with these I love the way MAC eyeshadows come off and the next one I got is in Oops, my bad. I forgot to tell you how much that was. That was, where's the price? $14.75. I do not know how much it originally was, so I'm guessing like 18 or 20 And then I got another one similar to it, different colors obviously, but it's the Duo. And this was also $14.75. I'm pretty positive, yes. So same price, and this is in the color Mix and Switch. And this one is just a little more bronzy color. Bronzy gold. I like wearing this. Oh gosh. You can't see it very well, but here it is right here. It's just a little more browny gold, and that was a lighter color. And then this one's like a coppery bronze. And he is obviously darker. Darkest out of all of these. Super pretty. I was in the CCO for quite a while. Um, it's a tiny, tiny store, at least the ones around me, like smaller than this room. <laughs> it's just me and the two ladies working there. And I could hear them. Like, obviously, the room is so small. Like, I can hear everything they say. And, like, one of the ladies legit thought I was, like, stealing. And I, well, I'm not that kind of person. And two, why would anyone steal in such a tiny store like that? It just, it made me feel so awkward. And not even, like, I don't even know why she would think I stole because I was at the Mac, like, section for a long, long period of time. Like, and that was right next to the registers, right where they were standing. And there's just no possible way. Like, I mean, I guess someone could steal, but, like, I wasn't. And they were watching me, and clearly I wasn't. And I even put all the things I wanted, like, I put it on the counter because... I don't like carrying around a bunch of like MAC eyeshadows, like I was just afraid I was going to drop them, so I just set them on the counter, it was right next to me. Anyways, once I left like that section, I just went around, did a like run through to see if I wanted anything else. Like I've never had Bobbi Brown, I went to that section, I didn't buy anything though. And the lady like right after I left went over to the section I was at and literally counted inventory to see what was missing and she said stuff was missing and like the lady- She's like the girl put her stuff on the counter, like she was trying to defend me but I'm like, like I could hear everything they said, it just made me feel so awkward. I didn't say anything, I was about to, I was about to be like blah 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 like I'm not stealing you know but I didn't want to make it even more awkward than what it was and then at the checkout like when I was buying all this stuff like the lady that was accusing me of stealing I kind of like dropped it like obviously I was right next to her checking out and then they asked to see my ID because like I paid for it with my debit card and I gave it to him and the lady was like that's such a good picture and I think you she's like what happened like, I know she was joking, but I'm like, I said that. I'm like, you guys are so awful. I I don't know. And obviously, like, they were laughing, but they really were awful people. I'm going to tell you that now. At least the one was. 
And even though they thought I was joking, I was not. I wanted to just see all of that lady. I really did. Anyways, the next one that I got is a like marbled, um, obviously there's a ton of different colors in it. And this was, again, $14.75. And it's in the color Earthly Mineralized. Well, it's called Earthly, but it's a mineralized eyeshadow. And I used this yesterday, and I really like the colors. Like, the beige was similar to this one, and the gold was just super pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch that one. I know, I'm going to say they're all super pretty, because they are. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's just a really, really pretty, like, true gold. And then the darker brown is like the one I'm going to show you next. And it's hard to swatch them when they're right next to each other. I'll swatch this one though. This is, I'm not sure what collection. If you could tell me, that'd be great. It's in like the zebra packaging. I thought that looked like the Hey Sailor um, packaging that they had on their other stuff that I saw people doing. But I have no idea. I wouldn't think, I think it's like navy blue, their packages. But who knows? And this was in the color, or is in the color Night Maneuvers, and it was ten twenty five. And it's just in a brown, a little compact. Again, Night Maneuvers is what it's called. Is that how you even say it? Is it even called Maneuvers? That doesn't sound right. When you think about a word too long, nothing sounds right. I feel like it would sound prettier, though. Maneuvers. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks like Maneuvers, but... Now that I keep saying it to myself, that doesn't seem like it is. And it's just a really pretty brownish gray black color. And again, I use this on the outer corners of my eye. And I will swatch it. I could even use this for like a smoky eye as eyeliner and whatnot. It is right here. I like how it's a matte color. And it's just different. I don't have... I don't feel like I have any colors quite like this, so that's why I picked that one up. And it does seem like it has a little bit of shimmer in it when I twist it. What kind of eyeshadow is this? Satin. So those are all the MAC products that I got, and then I have one more thing to show you. This is just from the Merchant 31 company that I got last time, and it is another bow shirt, but it's in this black and white stripe. And I've been wanting this forever, and I messaged them asking if they were going to get it. They pretty much said, because I wanted it, that they were going to get it. And then they messaged me just, like, three days ago and told me they were getting in, and I was the first one that they were going to let know because it was going to sell out because these sold out so fast last time and whatever colors they brought it in. And so I'm like, yes, I want it. got to my apartment in, like, a day and a half, which was crazy, but I am obsessed with it. I haven't worn it yet, though. I know girls at work are like, they're probably not sick of it, but I wear bow shirts all the time there. It's my favorite thing to wear, it really is, so. Adorable, and I don't think they put these on the site yet. Don't quote me on that, I hope they haven't, because if not, definitely go check them out and see if they have it, or you can message them and ask if they're going to be getting like more in or whatnot, because they will respond super fast. They're just really nice girls, so. Check them out, and that is all I wanted to show you, so I will see you guys really soon in another video. Bye!